Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dear reminder, this is your brother Gabriel Al-Rumani. It's really, really sad to see that the Ummah, the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Prophet of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, the last Prophet who came to bring Izzah, to bring honor and victory to this Ummah and to the world at large, is really not motivated. We as Muslims today, we are not motivated. We, in general, I'm not saying everyone, of course, when I talk, I don't blanket everyone. We're talking about, in general, we find your average Muslim sitting, watching TV, chilling, trying to be with a friend, overeating, over drinking, overspending, spending time in things that do not benefit them. And specifically when it comes to their own health and time, they don't invest in themselves anymore. You know, they think I get married, you know, start growing a belly, start getting out of shape anymore, not take care of yourself anymore. Um, you know, women not taking care of their beauty anymore. They don't care, khalas, I'm done, I'm finished. By the time you reach 40, 50, it's like you're expired. You know, it doesn't work anymore. You just, okay, you had a few kids, you know, you have a job, you work, done. You don't invest in yourself anymore. Don't take care of yourself anymore, how you look. You don't stretch anymore. You don't work out anymore. You don't watch how you eat anymore. You don't invest yourself anymore. You don't take any more courses. You don't read any more books. You don't really read the Quran to understand it sometimes. Yeah, you read here and there sometimes, subhanAllah. Or even when we read, we made it just like we're reading, but our mind is in a different place. We don't wake up for the hajjit anymore. You know, we used to make that those du'as when we were young. Oh Allah, give me a wife. Oh Allah, give me a husband. Oh Allah, help me be like this. Help me like that. Let me get that job. And then we got it. Finish. We got our wives, our husbands, finish. No more. You don't wake up. No more, you know, don't take care of your appearance anymore. Not motivated to be number one. Not motivated to be in time at work. Not motivated to do the best at your work. That you will be, that you get the promotion. That you will be the number one in the, in the, in the company. And some people might say, well, why are you talking about number one? You know, shouldn't we be more humble in Islam? Humbleness, brothers and sisters, is not, is not, and I repeat again, is not self-righteousness. Be careful. Humbleness is towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, you humble yourself even sometimes subhanallah uh, towards the people by serving them. But by, not, not by a fake humble image. We have to be careful about that. You humble yourself first and foremost in front of your Lord through your ibadah, through your akhlaq and your characters. But at the same time, you should have confidence. You should have strength. Do you think Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam? He didn't have confidence? Yes, he humbled himself. Yes, he gave people the benefit of the doubt. Yes, he was nice to everyone. But when it came down, he laid it down. When he had to lay it down, he laid it down. When he moved to Medina, things changed. He laid it down. He gave people, he gave people ample opportunities. But when he came to, hit, to, you know, to get it down, he was down. You think Salahuddin, when he conquered Al-Quds, what did he do? He says, oh, you know, no. He was self-confidence. He had strength. He was motivated. They built the member before. The member for the Quds for Masjid Al-Aqsa was built before. He was motivated by his teacher. He was motivated by the people around him. When he would wake up, he would wake up with a motivation. What do we wake up with today? Do we wake up even? Do we pray Fajr in the Masjid? Do we even have the motivation as Muslims to walk to the Masjid and pray? And you know, Shaitan is funny. He plays with you. He says, you're too sinful. I'm sinful. Omar Khattab used to be sinful. He used to go and stand up in front of people and to say this and this, Omar, Omar. And people say, why do you say that, Ya Omar? He said, I wanted to show the nafs of Omar. Who is Omar? Yes, they knew. Kullu bani Adam khatta wa khayru khatina tawabun. Al hadith wa qama qala alayhi salatu salam. Every son of Adam sins. The best of sinners are those who make tawbah. Your sin should not stop. You see, shaitan wants you to do that. He wants you to think that, you know, I'm bad. Why would I do even more? Why do I push myself? Why would people see me in the masjid thinking that I'm good? Yes, people always think differently of you. It's not about what people think, man. It's about what Allah thinks. It's about what you think about yourself. You know yourself. Your, your wife doesn't know you. Your husband doesn't know you. Your children doesn't know you. Not even your mom really knows you. You are the one who really, truly know yourself what's inside. And it's your fight. It is your fight. And as one poet said, the greatest battles that were ever fought in this world were those battles within the quiet chambers of your own heart. Who are you? You know who you are. Allah knows who you are. Do you wake up for Fajr? Even you're sinful. Do you push yourself to repent for those sins? 
إن الحسنات يذهبن السيئات. The حسنات will replace the sins. Go pray fajr. See, Allah will forgive you. Go pray tahajjud. Ask Allah subhanahu wa taala because Allah says that He descends to the third part of the night and He asks who is making toba. Then He will make toba to them. This is Allah subhanahu wa taala. He told us, I am as my slave thinks of me. If you think Allah will forgive you, Allah will forgive you. But where's your motivation? Do you wake up? Why do you wake up? Do you work out? Do you do you motivate yourself? Do you want to be the best you can be? Salahuddin Ayyubi only selected people for his army who went to Fajr. He understood what this means. He understood the motivation. Brothers and sisters, are you motivated? Can you take care and say, you know what, today I'm going to put a plan. Forget about my sins. You know, Abu Mahjan, Abu Mahjan was with Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqqas in the battle of Qadisiya. He drank. He was a drinker and he was, Sa'ad punished him with 80 lashes. Not once, many times. And his sin didn't stop him. He wanted to make Tawbah. And he is the one who is the decisive person in this battle of Qadisiyah. Don't let your sin stop you. Don't let your sin stop you for going for Fajr. Don't let your sin stop you for putting a plan for yourself, for motivating, for going strong, for investing yourself, for taking knowledge, for working hard, for being punctual, for doing workout, taking care of your body, your family, and so on, your deen, your tahajjud, all these things. Don't let these sins push you down. Don't let your mind and the shaitan, your nafs telling you that, you know, I'm bad. I shouldn't be doing this. Let me just settle down. Let me just become fat. Let me just become lazy. Let me just watch TV. Let me just think what it would have been if I would have done that. Or look at the TV at the so-called movie stars and look how they're doing. Oh, I wish I'd be that, but I'm not. I'm too lazy. I'm fat. I'm too tired. Blah, blah, blah. You know, we just complain. Do something about it. Let us do something about it. Why do we always complain? We just complain. We're big, big baby you know we're always complaining we're always blaming other people let us stop now let's do something on starting today yes today put a plan yes get a piece of paper not just here put it down write it down Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't reveal the Quran and just left it in the mirror of people yes Allah preserved it through the mirror of people, but it was also written down write it down write your plan down take a pen take a paper put goals big goals then split those big goals in smaller goals put a timeline say I want to achieve this by this time I want to do it make it uh, make, make it that it's reliable make it that it's it's actually realistic and you can actually check it you can verify it you can look at yourself yes use a sheet yes use a, a calendar whatever it is brothers and sisters let us stop making excuses for ourselves let us motivate ourselves what do you want to be who do you who are you you are not part of the ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam this ummah that was promised and granted greatness it will have greatness the question is will you be on this train they remind that this is your brother, Gabriel Romani. Are you motivated? Assalamu alaikum.